Well, thank you very much. I want to, want to thank um, John and all the others who organized this. Um, I should have talked on something else, but uh, John managed to fit me into this slot because I almost didn't arrive here. Um, so I'm very grateful. Um, I, I, this talk was not really pre prepared by me properly. It was prepared, I think the better part was prepared by John and his group. So this is John and his group are basically, let me just see, it. this is John and the group and Cyril. Um, and then I've got a, a little bit of pure data that I thought I ought to share with you. If any of you know about the pure study, it's an interesting study. So Salim Yusuf invited me in to, uh, to join his pure study. So I will be talking about dried fruit. I was originally introduced to dried fruit by Jordi, who's in the, the front here. And is, uh, he was the one who got me to write a chapter for him on this and, and educated me by giving me lots of slides um, so that I had lots of, of, of references so that I knew what I was talking about. Um, <clears throat> so let me, um, let me just go quickly through... Um, Doesn't seem to be. Don't see. I seem to be able to. Be, this is probably my talk. It's a blank. <laughs> um, forward and backwards. No way. Try that one. Okay, I'll, I'll try that one. Good. Thank you. Um, so these are my conflicts of interest. There are many of them, as you can see. Um, I won't spend too much time on them, but um, just to mention. Uh, my wife also is in the audience. She's one of my chief conflicts of interest um, because she works with Tom Wallover in what we used to call GI Labs. Um, she's their scientific director. Um, and um, the other conflict I've got is I've been a vegan for uh, 10 years then. I've, it's now 15 years. Um, and a vegetarian since 12. So I'm probably B12 deficient. So the, the neurological problems will be kicking on right now. So don't worry if you can't understand the talk. It's not your fault. It's my brain. Um, so all right, let me get back to my first slide. So dried fruit and, and randomized controlled trials. Um, systolic blood pressure, uh, diastolic blood pressure here shown. Uh, if you look at the, the sources of, of sugars, then one can see that uh, if one looks at dried fruit, um, basically for energy control, um, for a whole load of areas related to diastolic blood pressure, um, the correct side of the unity line, the, the left side of the unity line, is where one finds um, the, 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 the dried fruit, especially for the substitution. So it's really we're talking, not, not talking about addition, um, because the addition doesn't, and John's made this point, I think, very clearly in many many of his presentations, but where you, where you basically have an ad libitum or a substitution, you see a beneficial effect um, in terms of blood pressure uh, with dried fruit. Um, sorry, I'm, it, I don't seem to be able to handle this very well. Um, oops. I press, I press, and then nothing happens. Do I have to press and hold? I can always, anything electronic will always go wrong in my hands. Am I? Oh, you've gone through the whole talk. <laughs> but maybe that's, that's, that's maybe the way, way you want to go. I know, but I'm just, I'm, I wanted to go back. That's it. Thank you. Uh, anyway, look, that's diastolic. Let's hope I can go to systolic now. Uh, yes, wonderful. His systolic, same sort of pattern. Again, ad libitum. Uh, again, substitution, but addition, that's not where you find the benefit. Um, these are just a, a look at dried fruit and postprandial responses. Basically, blood glucose response, either no effect or a reduction in blood glucose, I think, is what one sees um, in the, the studies, acute studies of dried fruit. Uh, if you look at the, this is, sorry, this is, let me go back. So, this is why the talk takes, this is why, this, I tell you, if you, 
This is why the talk takes so long. <laughs> it's not that I've got a lot of new thing, things to tell you. I just tell you the old thing again. Um, so, so let me see. That's the acute. Then the chronic studies. Um, again, if one looks specifically at hemoglobin A1C, then one sees that's where one sees the reduction in chronic studies in terms of, of, of dried fruit in clinical trials. So these are the clinical trials data. And uh, overall, one doesn't see um, a, a big result for dried fruit on all-cause mortality um, or CVD mortality, I think because we have very few, very few studies. So I don't think one can expect a great deal out of that. But at least they're on the, right, on the, the left-hand side of the unity line. And the GI values that are available for fruit, uh, we do have some, some GI values for raisins, sultanas, apricots, dates, and figs. Commonly used foods, but not usually, not, not analyzed for GI, uh, dried apples, which we have for breakfast, um, bananas, uh, which is uh, uh, the, the useful food that uh, uh, Geordie mentioned, pineapple, mango, cranberry. We do, these are, these are quite commonly uh, dried, but not necessarily GI'd. And, not usually, um, not usually eaten, even, even dried. Um, pears, oranges, strawberries, strawberries. These are the things that I think we could have, we could probably focus on more. Get a few more into the diet because then they're, they're not in the diet. These we can use and could analyze for glycemic index, but in generally haven't done. So if one looks at fruit to improve glycemic control, um, this is BMJ at 2018. Uh, one can see that uh, all, all, all food sources seem to be okay if one takes a little bit extra sugar. But the fruit um, are, are on the, the left-hand side of the unit line, and significantly so. So they, they tend to improve uh, glycemic control. I'm having to move to fruit because we just don't have the dried fruit data. Um, <clears throat> we looked in our diabetic population at... What Geordie very, very, very nicely showed that citrus was the, the main one um, in, in Toronto, uh, our, our diabetic population. Uh, the banana is the main one, followed by apple and then the citric fruit, citrus fruits. And that's the sort of, that's the, that's the distribution of fruit consumption. If one takes one's diabetic patients then and looks at these, the dark lines of the lower glycemic index fruit, and one looks at the lower glycemic index fruit and their effect on hemoglobin A1C in randomized controlled trials. And then what one sees in terms of, of quartiles is that certainly as one, one progresses through uh, the quartiles of in, increased intake of fruit from one, two, three to four, then one sees a progressive reduction in hemoglobin A1C. So fruit certainly do seem to have a progressive effect in reducing hemoglobin A1C because they tend to be lower glycemic index. Um, in, in this meta-analysis of John's group, um, LDL was reduced uh, with, uh, with fruit intake. Um, <clears throat> and when one looks at CVD incidence, um, coronary heart disease incidence and stroke incidence, um, this, the, 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 the green barred lines are where one sees the, the fruit um, one sees of all these sugar sources in these 134 cohort comparisons of over 5 million people. So that this is quite good data. One sees benefits in terms of uh, CVD incidence for C CVD total CHD and stroke incidence for for fruit. So I think fruit do, and that's confirming, I think, some of the things that Geordie was talking about. I think fruit do tend to have uh, useful effects. And when one looks at the mortality, the CVT, CHD, and stroke, again, one sees these benefits um, for, for fruit intake. So I think what one's seeing is something good for fruit. Um, and already published, this con confirms the total mortality, CVD mortality, again, uh, a beneficial effect um, for fruit intake in this 2014 study. Um, so in conclusion, dried fruit appear to lower blood pressure. Uh, very few dried fruits, fruit have been studied. Fruit also appear to reduce CVD risk. And fruit as a component of low GI diets also may reduce um, hemoglobin A1C uh, in, in randomized controlled trials and in 
kill the cell is perhaps reduce CBD and or cause mortality. Thank you.